Now, let's talk about one of the most common ground-based setups I'll use, the crisscross setup. Very often I want to be able to load my lower torso and upper torso and trunk with a little bit different additional resistance, but still allow my hands to be free and be able to move. The beauty of training with bands, as I've always told you, is it allows you to do your movement patterns and not necessarily have to modify those because the resistance doesn't attach onto you correctly. So let's go through the crisscross setup. Taking the bands and setting them over top of your shoulder is the first step. You want to make sure that the band comes about one half the distance between the tip of your shoulder and the base of your neck, setting it in there. If you get it too close in here, it has a tendency to pull on the neck musculature. If you have it too far outside, it's going to feel like it slips off. So make sure you place it about one third to one half the distance on your shoulder. Secondly, when you get into the bands, this is very important. Make sure that you take the underneath band first. Now what you're going to do is you're going to push down on the band. You're not going to bend over to attach the band on. By bending over to attach it on, what happens is you immediately the band slide off your shoulders. If you stay upright and just simply push down on the band, you can go ahead and set it. Then if you need to go ahead and reset the band so that it's going ahead and position better, you can do that. Then go to the other side, again reposition it, press it on down, step into it, and you're ready to go. Now, no question, this setup is not for everybody. But for people that want to go ahead and get a little bit more out of the bands, it's a great setup to incorporate. This now allows me to free my hands up, do any kind of squatting motion, jumping motion, overhead pressing with dumbbells and, and those types of things. Basically, any ground-based exercise I want to be able to perform, this setup allows me to load the system, allow me to become more reactive in my loading processes, but still free up my hands to do a lot of exercise. Now let's talk about getting out of the, talk about getting out of the bands. You're gassed, you're tired. The worst thing you can do to get out of the bands is bend over and try to unattach them. What will happen is they'll slide and they'll start pulling on your clothing quickest and easiest way. Just push down on the band and step out. Push down on the band and step out. Make sure the band comes up over top of the front of your feet so now it is set up and ready to go again. Notice the band is to the outside of my legs so I can immediately reset myself and go again if I need to. The crisscross setup. Great setup for ground-based exercises. Incorporate it into any of your movements where your feet are on the ground and you're getting busy.